you. Something will happen today. Something extraordinary. Something powerful. Something miraculous. Raise up that hand. No one is okay. In the name of Jesus. Baba ni oruko Jesu. You have never failed. Oh You cannot fail. Eh o sile You will not fail. Eh o sile ikuna. Today we come to you. La le gbe awaswa ju yin. Great expectation. Pe lu ire ti na. Today we come to you. Lo ni ato yin wa. Praise in Christ. Pe lu igbagbo ninu Christi. That works wonders. And we ask it tonight. Your wonders will come upon every life in Jesus' name. Problems will roll away. Problems will roll away. All those yokes will be broken. And every curse will be taken away. We know that you are going to do it. Put a smile on every face. Joy in every heart. Confront the miracle in everyone. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you very much. God bless you. Wonderful to see your face again. Are you all right over there? Are you expecting something over there? You know, I'm going to go back to the very beginning of creation. I also want to go and see the miracle that happened on that first day. When God, the Almighty, decided He was going to make the earth, He was going to create everything. And then He decided He would create man. What kind of man did He create? What happened to that man that you created? And what happens today when the hand of God comes upon your life and remolds you and recreates you and remakes you? Look at Genesis chapter 1. And I'm reading from verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. Now all the animals have been made already. And God didn't say, let us make man in the image of one of these animals. Lucifer was already there. Lucifer is the one to turn to become Satan. God did not say, let us make man in the image of Lucifer. The angels already created. Which angels? Angel. Wonderful angels. God did not say, Let us make man in the image of an angel. He said, Let us make man in our image. And and our and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the fowl of the air. And over the cattle. And over the earth. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. He created man in his own image. He created the woman in his own image. And God bless them. Tonight you are blessed. Somebody there said tonight you are blessed. And God bless them and God said unto them. Be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the earth. Subdue. 
due east and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moved upon the earth that's the story of the creation of man I'm talking to you tonight on the miracle of a new creation. The miracle of a new creation. I read the passage already to you. God's original creation was beautiful and wonderful. Man's nature was like the nature of God. Man was number one, holy. Number two, man was happy. Number three, man was healthy. There was no sickness. There was no infirmity. There was no sin. There was no suffering. There was no sorrow. There was no oppression. Because God said we're making man. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Let us make man. In our image. After our life. And as God the Almighty had authority and dominion, man had dominion and authority. Touch that creation. Described and demonstrated for us the word holiness. H healthy. Healthy, no sickness at all, no infirmity at all. Oh, orderliness. Everything was in order. Man at the top. The animals under them. The creation under them. The rivers under them. Animals did not jump up to hurt the man. The vegetation did not resist the cultivation of man. When God created the universe, there was health. There was orderliness. There was love. Adam and Eve did not fight. Adam and Eve did not fight. Just like there was understanding between the man and the animals. And Abe Adam just stood there and said, this one is a lion, that one is a goat, that one is a sheep, that one is an animal. There was no resistance. Everything just worked amicably affection. There was stability. There was no poison in the river. There was no poison in any plant. Only one thing God told them not to eat. He said, Everything just speak and eat. You, you cannot do that today. If you are hungry now, you have to run back home and look for something to eat. You know, there's a lot of plant over here. You cannot go there now and eat something. At that time, there was no, was no poison. Incorruptibility in the creation of God. Because we're going to make another heaven at the station of the earth. Everything was noble. There was nothing degrading. There was nothing oppressive. Everything completely noble. Everything was excellent. Let us make man in our image. After our likeness. Let them have dominion. Over the fish of the sea. Over everything that creepeth upon the earth. And so God created man. 
in his own image after his likeness there was selflessness there was nobody that was selfish everybody you know you go your way I go my way because that was the creation of God there was satisfaction you know, God gave everything. What else are we going to look for? Everything was under the authority and dominion of man. Satisfaction. That's the original creation of God. But then a strange thing happened. A stranger came from the outside. His name is Satan. He tempted our first parents. They sinned. They fell. When they fell, the creation turned around. When they sinned, things changed. The you see today it's it's not not been going normal being covered in lode day becomes abnormal yo wa di on to doju the person have been going straight forward being covered in lotara it becomes crooked awa di wogun wogun if something had been going up being covered in loss okay it goes down nga to awa be se lo si le building something to ba tin kon kan to n gbe nkan ro once it comes in it collapses ni ba te se ba wole awo pale that original creation e da akoko ye that god had made e ti olorun and when he made everything, he looked at everything and said everything was good, everything was very good. When the stranger came in, when the strange thing came in, honor turned to humiliation. The honor that man had. Everything collapsed. It turned to humiliation. The obedience turned to obstinacy. Instead of man obeying God. Instead of animals obeying man. Instead of vegetation responding to the labor of our hand. Cruelty came in. Obstinacy came in. Obedience turned to obstinacy. Lord to lost instead of having normal love Christ-like love, divine love, God's love, it was not fleshly lost. Because things turned around when the stranger came in, when Satan came in. Innocence turned to iniquity. I let be can you jam him or was do a DSA because now Satan had come in. Nitori pe Satan iti wale when you allow Satan to come to your life. Nga to bag be sula ilo wale when you allow evil spirit to come to your life. Nga to bag be mi sula ilo ti wale si wale. Something that is flowing normal and flowing well, everything turns upside down. Go bon to tin son ni ro wo i ro se to un son gara go be awa dori kodo. Nobility turn to nothingness. Eh eh nitu eta down to ni to. Adam could not control Cain. Adam Cain just took something and killed his brother. And then God said, Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And the man was even naughty to God. What are you asking me? Am I my brother's keeper? The ability turned to naughtiness. And then exaltation turned to excuses. The man got a and set up on high. They began to make excuses. Oh, I don't know why we.
I don't know why that happened. It's a woman you give me. Woman, why have you done this? Oh, it's not my fault. It's the serpent that beguiled me. The exaltation of man, everything turned to excuses. And selflessness turned to selfishness. And scarcity replaced sufficiency. Now man is suffering. And this is not the original creation. The miracle is going to happen to you. Somebody, am I talking to somebody there tonight? The miracle is coming your way. The miracle of the new creation. This was the situation of man. That's why. Jesus Christ had to come. He didn't eat Jesus in Latin. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That you so ever believe us in me will not perish but have everlasting life. But the stranger that came in, the Satan that came in, the sin that came in, and everything tumbled. Everything was spoiled. That's why Jesus Christ has now come. And he wants to reorganize everything in your life. Somebody there, you'll be reorganized today. He will touch your life today. He will touch your life today. That's why Christ has now come. And as Christ has come, he wants to do something. If you will allow him tonight, he will do something. I said, if you will allow him tonight, he will do something in your life in Jesus' name. I'm looking at Hebrews chapter 12 verse 10. And Weberu Orike Jila. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 10. But they verily for a few days just in doors after their own pleasure. Nitori want to wafun or jodi. But he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. Almighty, the Almighty God look at the condition of man. And he saw that the original place he put us. The place of honor. The place of exaltation. The place of dominion. The place of power. And the place of happiness. And the place of holiness. And the place of hell. Where he put us. Us. We fail. Asubu. He said, Jesus, Oni Jesu. go and leech them up. Lo, lati lo gbe wansi oke. Go and raise them up. Lo, ko lo gbe wansi oke. Tonight he will lift you up. La le yo gbe es oke. Tonight he will raise you up. La le yo fa us oke. How does he do that? Ba wo ni on tin se le ye. I'm going to divide the message to three parts. Wo pe wa asuna se pa meta. Number one. Ikini. The perception of his notable honor. O na ni ni i ni 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 o la re. The perception of of his notable honor. And you need to understand the kind of honor the Lord wants to bring you to. What it was originally where he created us originally. The dominion and the authority he gave us originally. The perception, the understanding of that notable honor that put you our preparation for his noticeable healing. Oni imurasi lewa fui mulara dare etu epe ale sakie se. The healing he gives you tonight, your neighbors will see you and say something happened to you. 
iwo san ti o fun e laleyi awon ara adugbo re won so pe in kokon sele si e deliverance gives you tonight your neighbors will look at you and say don't even tell me i know about it already ngba to ba da adugbo yin awon ara adugbo so pe mo ti e ti so fun mo le ri nu aye e kind of healing that is noticeable e ru iwo san e ti a le sa ki esi deliverance that is noticeable e ru idande ta won eniyan le ri a kind of recreation that people can tell and people can see in your life e ru ise da to dati olorun ti olorun o se ta won eniyan le da mo ton le ri nu aye e you will make e mura sile to se the response you will give to the lord e da won to fi fun oluwa so that what he wants to do ki o n to fe se tonight is your night ale ilale re what are you i said tonight is your night ni bolo wa mo lale ilale re the pain he'll strike it up gbogbo iroro yen yo gbo won danu ti he will strike it up gbogbo ailera yen yo gbo won danu those blind eyes will become bright in tonight gbogbo ju ti orira yen kedere ni o mole i will see won riran i said i will see won le mi o riran so that will cheer the mighty power of god will come upon your life you'll come out in jesus name lori aga iyaro to ojo ko le lori agbara olorun yo tubulu e o si dide a preparation from your side i mura sile kan gbodo todo re wa our preparation for his noticeable healing e mura sile wa fun iwo san re ti a le sakiesi number 3 your portion in his new holiness eketa ona ni ipin ti wa ninu iwa mimo re titun you have a portion in what god has provided through christ ipin titi e ninu nti oluwa ti pese nipa se christ i was waiting for you. amen mo re ti portion you will not miss it in jesus name on to je ipin ti e o ni padanu e loruko jesus let's go back to number 1 e je ka para sinu koko kini the perception of his notable honor nini ola re eti awon eniyan le re tan le sakiyesi come back to genesis chapter 1 e je ke apara sinu genesis ori kini here from verse 26 au kai se ikerin din ni ogbon genesis chapter 1 verse 26 genesis ori kini ese kerin din ni ogbon god said let us make man in our image olorun si pe je ki a da eniyan le awora wa our likeness gege bi ri wa let them have dominion over the fish of the sea ki won ki o si joba lori eja o and over the fowl of the air ati lori eye oju oro and over the cattle ati lori eranko all the earth ati lori gbogbo ile and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth ati lori o gbogbo tin ra ko lori ile so god created man be le olorun da eniyan and then he tells us in his own image oni le awuran re in the image of god created he he le awuran olorun le o da male and female created he they ati aku ati abo le o da won and god bless them olorun si sure fun won somebody is blessed today and god bless them olorun sure fun olorun sure fun won somebody you are blessed tonight and god bless them oluwa bukun fun won oluwa bukun fun won na curse will vanish away from your life gbogbo egun yo po ra ninu aye re every plant the heavenly father has not planted gbogbo on ti olorun wa ko gbin sinu aye re will be uprooted from your life in jesus name lale yo di fifa tu kro nu aye e loruko jesus the perception of his notable honor nini tabi jijogun awon ola re itanwe eniyan yo sakiyesi you understand ba o lo se le loye re i'm telling you something here mo so nkan kan fun e bayi if you know what god thinks about you to ba le ro nu kan to olorun nro nipa re you know what god desires for you to ba le man to olorun fe fun o you will not fall for anything lower Oh, ni subu tabi ko teri ba fun you will not accept and say okay if this is all i have then that's all right you'll say no Oh ni fe gba pe awon gba je nsin mi pe eleyi kekere na ti to this life ends ki aye re ko to dopin everything god ordained for you o n gbogbo tolorun ti yan fun o everything god has earmarked for you o n gbogbo tolorun ti ko sile fun o and says in this new creation e to so pe ninu e da ti tun yi o this is what i have for you o n ti mo ni fun eleleyi you are going to possess it o jogun re o ni won 
Nothing will stop you. If you don't stop yourself. If you have the right perception. And you make the proper preparation. And you recognize your portion. I'm telling you from tonight, your life will be totally different. In the creation that God has made. What do you see? Number one. Honor through God. Honor through God. His honor will not come to your life anymore. His grace will not come to your life anymore. Degradation will not come to your life anymore. Number one, honor. I'm looking at Psalm 8. Psalm 8 verse 3. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is mine that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. He was a darele die juangeli lo. Only a little lower than the angels. O darele die juangeli lo. And has crowned him with glory and honor. He was it if you go at your lad daily a day. Remember, it's not this not Genesis. This Psalm. This one, thousands of years after creation. And David was saying, I look at man at my own time. David was a pet more woo in the might of God. In the plan of God. Glory and honor. Oh, go at your last night. You are coming to that honor. You're coming to the creation of God. You're coming to his desire and his purpose and plan for you. And in verse 6, thou hast made him to have dominion over the works of thy hand. Thou hast put all things under his feet. Under his feet. I'm going to make it personal. Under my feet. Under my feet. Evil powers under my feet. Sickness under my feet. Cancer under my feet. Ulcer under my feet. Premature death under my feet. Calamity under my feet. He has given us honor. That's why Christ came. But Christ didn't come so I can just go to church. I can go to church without Christ coming. The people were going to their synagogues without Christ coming. They were going to their temples without Christ coming. Christ came. So it can take you out of that place of dishonor. And bring you to the platform of honor. And bring all the things that were crawling upon you before, all the things destroying your life before, he'll put them under your feet from today. Did you hear what he said? Behold, I give unto you power. Over all the power of the enemy. And he said, you will tread on serpents and scorpions. And then he says, nothing shall by any means hurt you. He has come back from heaven so that the original creation will be reproduced in your life tonight. All through God. Obedience to God. When, you know, as Christ came, and then he comes into our hearts, he puts a magnet in our hearts. That you just, you are magnet Ties to the side of the Lord. There is a desire to obey God. 
There is some pleasure in obeying God. When God created another man in, that was what was in their heart. They just love God. And they love the commandments of the Lord. Number one, honor to God. Number two, obedience to God. Number three, obedience to God. Number three, Likeness to God. Let us create man in our image, in our likeness. That he is the creature resembled the creator. The son resembled the father. The father. The offspring resembles the parents. Likeness unto God. And that's why it says that as he is, so are we in this present world. The next one is the image of God. Let us man. After our likeness, after our image, so that the very heart of God, the very mind of God, the very nature of God, that's what Adam and Eve are. That's what they lost. And that's why Jesus Christ has come. He wants to restore us back to what we lost in Adam. Honor through God. Obedience to God. Likeness to God. The image of God. Nature of God. The nature of God. The nature of dominion. The nature of power. The nature of righteousness. The nature of truth. The nature of truthfulness. The nature of holiness. Because that's how God created man. The perception we have. Some people do not understand why Jesus came. Because he looked at every couch. He looked at every step. And he looked at every item. That man should resemble God. He lost everything. And Jesus Christ has now come. So that he will restore you to that nature of God. He exploits like God. Exploits like God. Look at Adam. Can you think of one man and one woman controlling that whole garden? Controlling all the earth. And he told Adam and Eve Subdue so the earth. Not just the garden. That man could go anywhere. Before he fell. His word was with authority. Before he fell, lions were not a threat to him. Before he fell, crocodiles were not a threat to him. Before he fell, he had exploits like God. That's what the Lord is bringing us to. The people that do know their God. And the people that do know Christ. And Christ pulls you out of your disgrace and degradation. He pulls you out Power will come into you. You will not be afraid of little malaria. Oh, ni wama berui bakekeke. You will not be afraid of cockroach spirit. Oh, ni wama berue emi anyo. You will not be afraid of reptiles. Oh, ni wama beru bobo awama ne tabia wanda. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Tori pe ti olu wani le ati ekuinure. This is my father's territory. Ah, isi e wo baba mi. 
and anywhere you are authority and dominion you go to the village authority and dominion anywhere you go and you're not hiding yourself somewhere there are some bad people there they want to kill me no Nobody will kill you. After tonight. I said after tonight. In the day and in the night. You will do exploits in Jesus name. And then supernatural through God. The supernatural through God. In the original creation. Man was the representative of heaven on earth. It was uh, the sub headquarters of God here on earth. And man was to be the administrator of God here on earth. The plan of heaven was to be carried out on earth by the man. And the power of heaven was given to him to carry that out. Supernatural from God. And the supremacy in God. The supremacy that he had in God. That's what Adam and Eve had at the beginning. And then there was a fall. And man now became helpless, hopeless, sick, suffering, sorrowful, until Christ came. And Christ is asking you tonight, do you want to come back to where you were before? Yaba is not answering me. I said, do you want to come back to what we had before? We're coming back. I said, we're coming back. Courage is coming to your heart. Life is coming to you. Authority is coming to you. You will not continue in weakness. You will not continue in discouragement. You will not continue in fear. You will not continue in poverty. Christ has come. Christ died for you on the cross of Calvary. Looking unto Christ. The author and finish off your faith. Oh, for the joy that was set before him. He despised the shame. He endured the cross. So that he'll take you out of that place you are. He'll take you up. You're coming up tonight. Our preparation for his noticeable health. He's going to heal you. Somebody there said he's going to heal you. Get ready, it's coming. Miracle of healing. Miracle of salvation. Miracle of deliverance. It's coming your way in Jesus' name. Our preparation. What preparation do you make? And if you will prepare tonight, I can show you a miracle is coming your way. What preparation do you make? Humble yourself before the Lord. Humble yourself before the Lord. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin. I will heal their land. H. Humble yourselves before the Lord. O. Open the 
door of your heart to the Lord. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door and he says, Jesus, I want you. Jesus, I desire you. Jesus, I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in unto him. I will sup with him. I will fellowship with him. You come to the Lord. You say, today I open the door of my heart. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in and forgive me. Come in and cleanse me. Come in and take my sins away. Humble yourself before the Lord. Open the door of your heart to the Lord. Leave the old life and cleave to the new life. For this shall a man leave father and mother and cleave unto his wife. He wants to be your bridegroom. He wants to be your husband. He wants to be your healer. He wants to be your lord and master. You leave the old master and you cleave unto the Lord. You leave sin and you cleave to the Savior. You leave darkness and cleave to the light. You leave evil and cleave to his grace. Incline your ears unto the Lord. I come to point number three. I'm talking to somebody now. I said I'm talking to somebody now. What are you there? Are you hearing? Are you going to answer the Lord? When he calls me, I will answer. He wants to lift me up. He wants to forgive me. He wants to set me free. When he calls me, I will answer. Who will answer over there? I said who will answer over there? Lord, call your people. Call them out of that prison. Bring them to the palace. Call them out of that dungeon. Bring them to dominion. I know you will answer. Something good will happen to you. Your portion in the new, in its new holiness. Look at this. Isaiah chapter 43. Isaiah chapter 43. I'm reading from verse 18. He did the old creation. He made the old creation. But Adam and Eve fell. And we fell in them and with them. But now he says, I'm going to do it all over again. He will do it all over again in your life. See what he wants to do. Isaiah 43. Verse 18. Remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Somebody there. I said somebody there. Almighty God says tonight, tonight, this night. I will do a new thing. And then it says, now it shall spring forth. When is your miracle? When is your healing? When is your salvation? When is your lifting up? It says now it shall spring up. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. And rivers in the desert. The Lord has said your time has come. What will he do? What has he promised to do? So as to bring God to what Adam and Eve lost. Number one, a new heart. 
new heart. The heart is the center of your life. The heart is the source of your thinking. The heart is the fountain of your strength. The heart is the starting point of your progress. If the heart is weak, your life will be weak. If your life, if your heart is downtrodden and trampled upon, your life is downtrodden and trampled upon. If your heart is timid and weak, your life will be timid and weak. If your heart is sinful, your life will be sorrowful and your life will be sinful. And he says, come to me today. I'll give you a new heart. Somebody there. A new heart is coming. I said, a new heart is coming. A new life. A new instrument. A new instrument. What are you there? Are you still there? Look up. I said, look up. If it rains, the rain will not cancel your miracle. You will not go and hide somewhere. Because God is about to distribute miracles. Your portion is coming. Your portion is coming. What are you there? It will get to you. It, you will get to it. From the time of John the Baptist until now. The kingdom of God suffered violence. And the take it by force. Nothing will hinder you tonight. A new heart. Give me a good amen. A new obedience. Another amen. A new lie. Another amen. What's the next thing there? Tell me. A new instrument. Uh, look at you, look at you, look at your portion here. Say, I'm looking at my portion now. I can't hear you. I said chapter 41. I said chapter 41. I chapter 41. I'm looking at verse 15. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. I'm going, I'm going to read that again so that I can hear whether you are the one I'm talking to or not. He says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having tears. And thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills a charm. Thou shalt find them and the wind will carry them away. And the wind will scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. And shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. A new instrument. What is it? Where is she there? All those mountains will vanish away. A new name. A new name. The Lord is going to give you a new name. You are not a defeated man anymore. You are, you are a person in dominion from now on. A new name. Behold, I give my name unto you. Whatsoever you shall ask or bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. A new example. A new example. Because Christ has died for us. Leaving us an example that we should walk after his steps. What does that mean? 
the way he dealt with sin, he gave you an example. Deal with sin on, that way. The way he deal, he dealt with Satan. He gave you an example. Deal with Satan that way. When Satan comes and he wants to bind you up and oppress your life. Uh, Satan, leave me alone. Leave me alone. What have I done? It's only me you are coming to. And you don't allow me stop that and deal with that Satan and say Satan get thee behind me he'll get away from you the way he dealt with sickness and said be thou healed he has given you an example, a new example. And you come, and you come in authority. I have the name of the Lord. I have the promise of the Lord. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. In my name, they will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And tonight, you will recover in Jesus' name. The word is in your mouth. The name is in your mouth. The spirit is in your heart. The authority is in your spirit. And the anointing that breaks the yoke is given to you. He has given us an example. A new example. Deal with sin like he dealt with sin. Deal with Satan like he dealt with Satan. Deal with sickness like he dealt with sickness. And deal with evil spirits like he dealt with evil spirits. I have the victory. I have the victory as a new spirit. A new spirit. The spirit of a conqueror. The spirit of courage. The spirit of power. The spirit of authority. The spirit of fearlessness. That anywhere you go, but today you will be in authority. All power, all authority is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Go ye therefore. You have that new spirit. It says in Ezekiel chapter 11. And in verse 19, a new spirit will I put within you. A new source of supply. A new source of supply. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. My God shall supply. My God shall supply. My God shall supply. All your needs. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. A new source of supply. Everything is available for you. I said everything is available for you. He will heal you. He will forgive you. He will set you free. He will save your soul. He will turn your life around. He will do something good in your life. You need to prepare. You need to prepare. Lord, I come. I humble myself. Lord, I come. I open the door of my heart. Lord, I come. I leave the past. I cleave unto the Lord. Lord, I come. I incline my heart to the Lord. Lord, I come. I nail all my sins to the cross of Calvary. Lord, I come. I escape from perdition and destruction. Lord, I come. I seek the Lord while he may be found. Lord, I come. I surrender all to Christ. Once you do that, that new thing will begin in your life tonight. 
closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord is coming your way right now. The time of forgiveness has come. The time of lifting up has come. And the time of salvation has come. And it's going to do something new. Something you never knew before. A new miracle is coming upon your oh, life. Let's bow the nice clothes. If you are you telling the Lord, Lord, oh Lord, do it for me tonight. Oh Lord, oh Lord do, do it Lord. for me tonight. You raise up your hand. Oh, now what? It's okay. Indicate to the Lord. Now what's okay? Lord, I am here. Lord, I am here. I want it now. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. Why did they do Stand up, stand up for did Jesus. They do did they do you are raising up your hand. Oh, no, one, yes, and okay. you are saying, Jesus, oh, Jesus, you and I today will be connected. I leave the past. I come to my Savior. I leave my sin. I come to Christ. I leave darkness. I come to the light. You raise up your hand. You stand up. Oh, no, yes, okay. Why did they if do you are standing up and you mean it. See, Take whatever, you have, you have, take whatever you have, hold everything in your hand and come right to the front here. Come over here. Come. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you. Come unto me. Come unto me. All you that labor and a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest in your soul. Rest in your spirit. A new life is coming. You are going to leave the past. All the sins of the past are going to leave them. All the gangs of the past are going to leave them. All the lying of the past are going to leave everything. All the evil of the past are going to leave. All the wickedness of the past are going to leave. And you come and cleave to the master, to the savior, to the Lord. People coming is calling you. You humble yourself before the Lord. As you come, as you come, as you come. He says, eat my people who are called by my name. Will humble themselves. So while you are there, just close your eyes and say, Lord, I will not be proud anymore. I know I'm a sinner. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Let him see that humility. Let him hear the voice of humility. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. The Lord is calling you. And the Lord is saying, tonight can be the night of upliftment. Tonight will be the night of hope. Holding you up. Everything we lost in the first Adam. We want to regain in Christ. And tonight is the beginning. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Older person can come. Elderly person can come. Aged person can come. And the young people can come. Lord, Lord I come. Open the door of your heart. And say, Lord, here I am. Coming to stay. Come in and take my sins away. Leave the past. And cleave to the Savior. Incline your ear to the watch of the Lord. And do what he has told you to do. And put all your sins together. Nail them to the cross of Calvary. Tell the Lord. He will answer your prayer. He'll save your soul. He'll take your sins away. He'll change your life. A new thing will come to you. It's going to happen now. I said it's going to happen now. I said it's going to happen now. Raise up that hand. Raise it up very well. You're going to pray after me. When we finish your prayer with my minister uh, walking with me here. You say it aloud and say from the depth of your heart. Almighty God, I thank you today. Today is a new day. Lord, I come. I humble myself before you. 
I know I am a sinner. You are my Savior. Lord, I call upon you. Forgive my sin. I open up my heart. Call me. Set me free. Come in. Save my soul. I leave the past. I cleave to the Lord. I will stay with the Lord. Lord, I pray. All your word I have heard. I incline my heart to that word. I nail my sins to the cross of Calvary. Take them away. Tonight. Tonight. I escape from destruction. Tonight. I have come to seek your face. Tonight. I surrender my heart. I surrender my life. I surrender my will. Unto the almighty God. Receive me Lord. Take me Lord. Save me Lord. Lord I believe. Lord I believe. Lord I believe. My sins are forgiven. I am saved. I am saved. I am saved. In Jesus name I pray. Awa ile de Yoruba e gba tele n bayi Olorun e je ka soro soke Olorun mo dupe lowo yin fun ojo oni mo dupe lowo yin fun oro yin mo ti gbo oro yin mo si ri ara mi gege bi elese mo nje wo awon ese mi fun yin gbogbo awon igbi aye ateyin wa gbogbo ese ateyin wa gbogbo awon iwa buburu mi atijo mo nje wo won fun yin mo si npin ninu okan mi lati ko gbogbo ese mi sile mo n gba jesu oluwa gege bi oluwa ati olugbala mi mo si ti pinu pe lati oni lo won o ma to yin leyin won o ma se ife yin won o gbe gbe aye mi fun yin jesu oluwa mo sile kun okan mi sile e wa wo inu okan mi e wa ji aye mi pada e wa so aye mi dotun agbara atore ofe ti ma fi gbe gbe aye to wu yin lati oni lo e je ko wo inu okan mi mo dupe tori pe e ti se mo dupe tori pe ati gba mi la mo dupe tori pe e ti dariji mi ni oruko jesu ni mo gbadura I'm going to pray for you now. Raise up your two hands in surrender. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have called your people and they have come you will not fail according to your promise forgive them in Jesus name save them in Jesus name let your spirit be a witness in their hearts. Their sins have been forgiven. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Lift them up. Change their lives. They'll never be the same again. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord, the Lord has saved you. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. That miracle is coming. He said, a new creation. A new power. A new healing. A new deliverance. Is coming upon your life right now. You know, when God created, He just said, let there be. Let there be light and there was light. Let there be ocean. There was ocean. Let all the waters gather to one place and it was so. And now his is going to do a creative work in your life. Once he says sickness, go away. It's gone. 
Blind eyes be opened and begin to see. It happens immediately. Leave man, rise up and walk. It happens. And when you hear the final amen, you check up yourself. The miracle is there already. If you need healing, you raise up your hand. If you need deliverance, you raise up your hand. Whatever challenge it is, you want the Lord to take away, just raise up your hand over there. And lay the other hand upon yourself. And then when you hear the final amen, that means the miracle is confirmed already. Almighty God, we come to you with faith. We come in the new anointing that breaks every yoke. We come standing on the promises that cannot fail. We come in the confidence of the manifestation of your power. I come upon every person here. On behalf of every sick person, every oppressed person, every afflicted person there, and Lord, I pray, touch and heal them in Jesus' name. I command that sickness in your body, come out in Jesus' name. I command that affliction and oppression of the enemy of the devil. Come out in Jesus' name. That yoke is broken from your life. You are free. You are set free. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. That madness, that insanity, that evil spirit, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. All the disturbance in your system, in your head, in your mind, because of marijuana and because of all those things you have been eating and drinking and smoking before, I cancel them. You are free in Jesus' name. The person that is having swelling in the body, in the neck, in the head, in the armpit, in the leg, I command the swelling, come out in Jesus' name. That cancer, I command you, dry up, be healed in Jesus' name. Also be healed in Jesus' name. The pain of arthritis and stiffness in your joints, be healed in Jesus' name. Issue of blood there, dry up in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Coughing out blood. Be healed in Jesus' name. And anywhere the fire of the devil is burning in your head, anywhere I command that fire to stop right now in Jesus' name. Sickle cell anemia be healed in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes and dim eyes, I command right now, be healed in Jesus' name. That person has been stroke or paralysis, let the power of Christ come there right now. That power that raises up the lame, I send that power in your joint, in your waist, in your muscle, in your nerves. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Those 
Lord, I pray for every kind of miracle, every kind of deliverance, every kind of healing, every kind of signs and wonders, everywhere to the right, to the left, to the center, to the back. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. You're delivered in Jesus' name. Hold on to that miracle right now. It is done. It is done. Confirm it in every life, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You got it. I said, Amen. You got it. Amen. It has happened. Check up yourself. The miracle is right there.